hey y'all what's going on people so it's your girl lady v i'm back with another video and it's all about tarot i'm gonna give you four books great books to use in order to learn this right here divination guys just for myself just to let you know i picked i have this is my personal um deck i have a couple of decks you know, a couple. I have a lot of Oracle decks. I sell tarot. I sell Oracle as well. Um, and this is one thing that I say that I'm still learning. It takes years to learn tarot. It takes a very long time. And I'm more of a, a Oracle reader. That's someone that can read energy very well and where I don't even need tarot for real though that's my superpower but I just love to pull tarot and I usually do it on myself um I really don't pull for family members because you don't want to read personally for someone that you know I choose not to do that um but I do read for myself I'll pull cards for myself a lot of the times um, but I'm going to give you four books that are great to read to help you learn tarot. Before I get started, I just want to say thank you so much for allowing me into your world. Um, thank you for all of my new subscribers. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel in order to vibe with me on a daily basis. I upload videos, um, not every day, but often. And this is my passion. This is my purpose. So that's what I'm here to do. All right, let's jump on into these books. So the first three books I'm going to be showing you are available in my shop, in the store um, for purchase. Okay, so we're going to dive into the first book. And this book is How to Read the Tarot by Sylvia Abraham. This book right here, okay? This is to unlock the secrets of the past, the present, and the future with the tarot. You can learn the keyword system in a matter of days. So in no time, you'll be reading the cards for yourself or friends or family, all right? Now, opening up this book, it gives you a pictorial as well. And this is on the Nine of Cups. And let me just read it to you what it states about the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups upright in a spread, and it gives you the upright as well as the reversed. Now, if you're a beginner, learn upright first. Then, once you get the upright position, um, then go into the reverse um, knowledge, all right? That's a tidbit or trick. You don't want to overexpand it or overthink it. So, learn one thing first and then go back and keep learning more. So we're going to only talk about the upright position and the nine of cups is wisdom in love and emotions. The wish card. If the card is up, you get your wish. Putting love on a higher plane. It's all about self-confidence and emotional experiences. Sexual fulfillment. Intuition is good at this time and healing abilities through love. And this book here, let me turn to another page. It also gives you Celtic cross spreads. Gives you that. Um, it gives you symbols, key facts, how to choose your tarot deck, and everything else and it's all about in the beginning of this book it says tarot for the beginner so this is a great book how to read the tarot by sylvia abraham i do have this book available in the shop now let's talk about the next book i pulled and that book is in focus in focus tarot this is the book here and this is a workbook okay so it's a guide to understanding card meanings and spreads it's by rebecca falcon 
And in the back, it says, find growth and insight, tarot reading in an ancient and powerful divination method that can also be harnessed to explore and deepen your emotional and spiritual life. Okay, let's open up. Ah, uh, this page has a lot of pictorials in color. You see that? This here says connect the cards. And the wording is now that you become familiar. Let me turn this way. Now that you've become familiar with the cards in the first section of the major arcana, this exercise, it gives you exercises, will help you articulate the main themes of each okay on this side is draw a card and this is your guide you pull the card and then you draw it it helps you learn um this pictorial and i love that it is in color this is great here is the devil card and the judgment the devil and judgment both give power to our choices, our creations, and our abilities. Their differences come in what we've created and how we found su success. The devil can be the darker side of that creation, while judgment asks us to be proud of what we've done. Both show us divine figures who look to us for an acknowledgement of our own power to see how we've been able to get to grab onto their force and use it for ourselves. Now, right here where you can write, because you write in this book, it's a workbook. It says, what are some of the darker moments or choices you made in life you've created? And you're going to write that out. The next question is, what are some of the moments and choices that you are most proud of? And you're going to write that out, okay, when you pull that card. Let's jump. This 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 book is very deep. The Infinite Eight. It gives you the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Eight Eight of Wands. It talks about the um, Eight, and it's an infinite sign. Well, you know why? Because it doesn't. It's infinite. All right. Visualize the number eight in each suit and mark up the number based on what you see. In which direction does the energy flow for you? Where do you see the entrance and exit points? With this exercise, when you find yourself stuck in an eight, you will be able to use the image to power your move forward. Okay. Formulating questions, the tower and the moon. This book is great, guys. And this is the workbook for tarot available in the shop. Another book that I pulled... This here is Tarot, Connect With Yourself, Develop Your Intuition, and Live Mindfully by Tina Gong. Tarot. This particular book is finding out how to customize, interpret, and apply the wisdom of tarot to enhance every area of your life, your career, your finances, your relationships, and more. Get to know each card in detail. Um, discover how tarot readings can, can illuminate your unique path and lead to tangible, positive actions that you can apply day to day. Let's dive into this book. Let's see what we're looking at. All right, I do see color. It gives you three card spreads. Baby, this book here, Gold Process. If you have guidance and evaluations, it gives you the three cards, the spread. Um, let's talk about the tower. It gives you the upright position, what it means, destruction, collapse, sudden change, crisis, per perceived disaster and purification. It gives you the reverse meaning as well. Um, delayed the inevitable, avoiding truth, emb embracing transition. Um, it tells you the interpretation of the upright position and the reverse position, the reflection and the action. When you see it like that, that means the past, present and future. Okay, as well. All of the cards, let's go towards the back. So it's basically all of the cards in one. 
full details of the upright and reverse positions. Let's go to the front. It gives you the spreads, the major arcana, the minor arcana, creating your own spreads, spiritual spreads. If you want to do dream interpretation, if you want to do self-care, that's a spread. Relationship spreads, Celtic cross spread. Very deep. All right. And this book is the Tarot Connect With Yourself. This book is available in the shop. And last but not least, this is my own personal copy. This is the Tarot Journal by Melissa Turnberry. It's record your readings and gain insight into your life. Um, you can write in this book. It is a journal. It has nice pictorials. Very nice. Um, here. And when you pull, you just write it out. It gives you, of course, keywords. Again, nine of swords, fear, doubt, anxiety, nightmares, troubled consciousness, suffering, despair. The nine of swords represents great anxiety and suffering. Your hopes have been dashed. You are filled with fear and doubt and your struggle to come to terms with the matter. It dives real deep into the meaning of the cards. Um, of course, this free space is where you will journal and write about the card that you pull. Um, what I would probably do is put the date and the time and then pull one card if you're doing it for yourself. I use this book for personal self pulls. All right. And then write it out how you feel about the card. Read about the card so you can learn. And this is my, this one I don't have available in the shop because this is my own personal copy. But um, this is the Tarot Journal. Guys, I gave you four great books. Four great books in order to learn tarot. Learn tarot. I am also doing a series on tarot. I'm doing tri tricks and tips. I'm doing just a series where I'm recording more videos on um, pulling tarot and I'm doing videos on community card or collective card readings. I'm doing that as well. I uploaded one. I pulled cards for y'all today and I'm just going to edit it and upload it as well. And we're going to dive into tarot a little bit more. I love herbs. I love moon work and I love tarot. So tarot I had put on the back burner to um, get my shit together, but I'm back and we're going to learn about it together. All right, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, support, and share my channel. It is greatly appreciated. I see all of y'all. I see all the comments. I read all comments, positive ones, all the negative ones. Um, It's hell for review and bitch, you are deleted. I, I don't got time. All right. Uh, yeah. I'm 45. I ain't got time for the bullshit. If you don't have nothing good to say, keep scrolling. But other than that, for the people that rock with me and you are a Vosorian rider, ride with me. Anything you need, y'all, it's raining again. Anything you need, go to the shop, visionsbybosori.com. Remember, I have tarot, I have oracle, I have books available for purchase. Support your girl. As always, y'all, keep vibing high. Blowing blessings.